At the beginning of this year, we launched our new online reporting tool that is able to visualize survey data in a simple and clear way. We are excited to show you some of the new features we have been working on that demonstrate what is capable on this platform. Here we have a frequency report built in the latest version of our reporting platform. It features different visualizations, great looking layouts with clearly defined sections and multiple capabilities for annotations. Let's show you how easy it is to set this up. The reporting homepage shows your personal projects. Go to your preferred project and click the Add Frequency Report feature. Then select your survey and give the report a name. Now select the questions you want to include in the report. You can always add extra questions later. You now have what looks like a plain table book, but by using different visualizations and a customized layout, it's easy to make it look much better. Let's start with a cover page. You can add a title, subtitle, and select or upload a cool photo. First, let's create a summary of some demographic data. The gender table might look better as a pie chart, so let's go ahead and click Edit. Now select the pie chart from the graph type options. Click Save to close this window and return to the report. The next question you see is a numeric question about respondents' age, which isn't very useful in its current form. This can be changed to buckets by setting a min, max, and step size. Turning this data into a range of columns will look great in the report. All of this demographic data could be visualized much more compactly. Any tile on the page can be resized and placed wherever you want. When resizing, it will always follow a predefined grid. This will help you to create good looking reports without having to measure anything yourself. Having designed the demographic information, it's time to communicate the most important KPIs. These KPIs are now reported as a five point scale grid question. However, you might prefer to only show the top two percentage. This is done by simply editing the tile. Go to the Advanced Settings tab, where you're able to combine the top two answer options. The old options are automatically hidden. We will also hide the other answer options so that only the top two remain visible. The same can be done to our other KPIs. We'll resize them all to fit nicely next to the other data. Let's continue with a question that is part of a matrix group. It's possible to add more statements to it when you go into Advanced Settings. Look at the option and add more questions to the matrix. We also added support for stacked bars for this type of data. Now, when you return to the portal, you can see all the statement in one single graph. Let's end the report with some deep dive information. It's easy to add an open answer question, showing all of the verbatims in a searchable tile. If we then reduce the size of this widget to half of the width, we can put another chart next to it. Let's go with a chart on what social media people use. That's how easy it is to make great looking reports of your surveys. We hope you'll enjoy the new capabilities our platform has.